Welcome back to Geology Info. Did you know that a single earthquake can awaken dozens of dormant volcanoes? What just happened in Kamchatka has geologists around the world on high alert. Get ready to uncover what's happening deep within the Earth. The Kamchatka Peninsula, located in the far east of Russia, is a region known for its impressive geological activity. This vast mountainous area is home to more than 160 volcanoes, with about 30 of them classified as active. Historically, Kamchatka has been recognized as one of the most seismically active places on the planet, with frequent events shaping its unique landscape. The combination of constant volcanic activity, active tectonic faults, and the presence of glaciers creates a setting where nature displays raw and unpredictable power. This dramatic scenery attracts tourists from all over the world, fascinated by its untamed beauty. Recently, the region has regained global attention after a massive magnitude 8.8 .8 earthquake shook its foundations. Far from bringing calm, the quake triggered a series of seismic and volcanic events that have been intensifying. One of the most alarming incidents was the appearance of a thermal anomaly at Mutnovsky volcano, which had remained relatively quiet until then. This phenomenon indicates a rise in the volcano's internal temperature, possibly signaling magma movement and a higher risk of eruption. Russian authorities, concerned by the increasing activity, raised the alert level to yellow, classifying the situation as one of elevated unrest. This activity at Mutnovsky is not an isolated case. Several other volcanoes on the peninsula have begun to show signs of instability, as if the earthquake had awakened dormant forces beneath the crust. What worries experts is that the most active volcanoes were not necessarily the first to react. Volcanoes that had been inactive for centuries, like Krasheninikov, also showed signs of reactivation, catching many scientists off guard. This shows that the consequences of the earthquake go far beyond what was initially expected, challenging monitoring systems and natural event forecasts. Kluchevskoy volcano, for example, is already in full eruption. The lava flow stretches for nearly three miles, about five kilometers, and is advancing toward the Bogdanovich Glacier, causing accelerated melting. This combination of fire and ice poses a serious risk, as intense melting can lead to landslides, flash floods, and volcanic mud flows known as lahars. These natural disasters can isolate tourists, destroy roads, and interrupt essential services in the region, in addition to posing a direct threat to local communities. The highway connecting the peninsula's main cities is at risk of being affected by these violent flows. Another point of concern is the current difficulty in accurately predicting eruptions. The intense sequence of aftershocks following the earthquake makes it hard to correctly interpret the seismic signals coming from the volcanoes. With so much simultaneous seismic activity, it becomes nearly impossible to determine whether a specific tremor is caused by rising magma or by another tectonic adjustment. This uncertainty puts monitoring teams in a tough position, where decisions must be made based on unreliable data. The safety of the population and tourists now depends on emergency assessments. The situation in Kamchatka highlights how interconnected natural phenomena are. A single event, in this case a high magnitude earthquake, was enough to trigger a chain reaction, activating volcanoes, altering glacier behavior, and raising concerns about local infrastructure. The current scenario demands constant vigilance and rapid response, as the risk of new eruptions and associated disasters remains high. This mix of factors puts the Kamchatka Peninsula under the spotlight of the geological world and reinforces its reputation as one of the most active and dangerous regions on Earth. The eruption of Kluchevskoy is being closely monitored by Russian authorities and international teams due to its destructive potential. With its nearly perfect conical shape and a crater about 2,300 feet, 700 meters in diameter, this volcano is the highest currently active in all of Eurasia. What makes the situation even more delicate is that lava flows are not limited to the summit. They are also emerging from the slopes, where there are several secondary craters and cones. This behavior expands the risk area and makes it harder to contain potential environmental and human impacts. Since its first significant eruption in April of 2025, Klyuchevskoy has shown a steady escalation in activity. After the earthquake on July 30th, the intensity of events increased considerably. This intensification has been accompanied by new tremors and continuous lava emissions. Its proximity to the Bogdanovich Glacier is especially concerning, as the heat from the magma accelerates ice melt, generating large volumes of water. Authorities have raised the alert and advised that no one approach Mutnovsky Volcano, now classified as dangerous for tourist visits. The risk level is considered high, 
and the recommendation is to suspend all activity in the area. This alert also extends to other points on the peninsula, especially in areas near glaciers, where volcanic heat can cause sudden instabilities. With summer in the northern hemisphere, the region usually receives many tourists, further increasing the potential exposure to danger. Another volcano drawing attention is Krasininikov, located on the eastern side of the peninsula. It surprised experts by awakening after more than six centuries of dormancy. This reactivation occurred shortly after the earthquake, indicating a direct link between tectonic energy release and magma movement. The eruption launched a dense ash column reaching about five miles, eight kilometers high, posing a significant risk to air traffic. As a result, an orange alert was issued advising airlines to avoid flying over the region. This type of explosive eruption with ash emission can be especially dangerous, as the particles can be sucked into aircraft engines and cause severe failures. The volcanic emergency response system in the region is already operating at maximum capacity, but is struggling to handle multiple simultaneous events. Coordination between monitoring teams and emergency services is critical at this point, especially because many risks overlap, such as eruptions, lava flows, tremors, and lahars, creating a crisis situation that demands full attention. And the rise in volcanic activity in Kamchatka is not limited to the most visible events. Experts are also observing a concerning phenomenon related to glacier melt. The combination of volcanic heat and summer is accelerating ice loss, which may seem like a natural consequence but has serious seismic implications. The reduction of ice mass over volcanic formations decreases pressure on the ground, and this release can trigger new earthquakes or even awaken volcanoes that are still dormant. This phenomenon is known as glacial unloading and has already been observed in other parts of the world. The interaction between ice and magma is extremely dangerous. When magma comes into contact with water from rapidly melting ice, phreatomagmatic explosions occur. These explosions are unpredictable and extremely violent, capable of throwing rock fragments and ash over long distances. This poses a threat to residents, as well as adventurers and tourists. Since alerts can't always anticipate these episodes with precision, the risk of being caught off guard increases. The region's natural environment is in constant transformation, and any change can trigger a new emergency. Moreover, the geological monitoring network on the peninsula is struggling to keep up with all the changes in real time. The large number of aftershocks occurring after the earthquake makes it difficult to read seismic signals that could indicate an impending eruption. The overlap of data makes the work of seismologists and volcanologists extremely complex. They need to distinguish between a tremor caused by tectonic movement and one caused by pressure building inside a volcano. This difference is crucial for anticipating dangers, but it's currently being obscured by seismic noise. Meanwhile, more tremors continue to be recorded along the southeastern coast of the peninsula, with some events exceeding magnitude 6. Seismic activity has been shifting toward the Kuril Islands, another highly unstable region. Seismologists have detected a sequence of earthquakes stretching for hundreds of miles, hundreds of kilometers, along the kamchatka kuril Trench, a subduction zone known for its ability to produce megaquakes. The observed pattern suggests that the accumulated energy may be gradually releasing, but there is also the risk of new major quakes.